Okay, so this video is about the J chord, which is something that I find very interesting. In the, in the J chord, I need to tell you again another short story uh, because it's important that I give you the context on which the J chord can, can exist. So think about a country that has experienced, this is a graph where I have a, a surplus uh, on the balance of payments in here and a deficit in the balance of payments in here. So imagine a country that has experienced, and this is time, right? This, the, the X axis is time. So year one, year two, year three, la la la. So historically they have experienced a, a deficit, right? So they are not doing well. They need to get uh, uh, currencies, right? They need to, 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 to have currencies, they need to gain money. So what will they do if they face something like this? And this is for fixed systems, okay? Again, a parenthesis in there, fixed systems. So if he, and a strategy that countries can do when they are facing something like this is that they can devaluate their own currency, right? So they can say, um, our currency is going to lose value. We are going to, to, to be worth less, less foreign currency so that people abroad can buy more of our products, okay? So we're going to become cheaper. So imagine that maybe tomorrow the government decides to make a, to take a fixed system and they decide to change the value of the dollar to 40 pesos per dollar. That means that one person in the US can buy one bottle of tequila for only two dollars instead of four, right? So doing that strategy, it's aimed to, to sell more, right? So people in the US will buy more tequila and then we will receive more money. That is a strategy that, that people can do, but it's a very risky strategy because what the government thinks that's going to happen is that from the point that they make the strategy, things are going to get better, right? That's what they think. Things are going to get better, but that doesn't happen. Why is, why is this? Because immediately after that devaluation, not everyone in the world is going to buy avocados and tequila right away, right? So that's number number one, the reason number one, that people are not going to react immediately to the change in the value of the exchange rate. So that's the first thing that we need to be careful with. And the second thing, the second reason is that immediately, once that you change the value of your, of your currency, what happens is that if you have debts in dollars, your debt increases, right? So that's bad for firms and people that have uh, debts in foreign currencies. And finally, the, fir the first thing, if you export, sorry, if you import foreign goods instead of exporting, if you import, then it's going to be terrible for you, right? Imagine that you import things from for uh, the price of $1, it's going to cost the double, right? So because of these three reasons, what happens at the beginning is that instead of experiencing an improvement, it's actually the opposite. It goes even wrong, even worse. It goes even worse until first people start to realize around the world that we are cheaper, that people start buying things from Mexico, that people start paying because when you export something, you don't get paid right away. You usually give credit. So the money enters in one or two months after you send the product. So it takes time. So sometimes, and this can happen, uh, countries don't recover, right? So they go to the bottom. That happened in Mexico in 1988, 1994, again, 1982 too. And it has happened in other countries. But what happens sometimes is that it recovers and it goes like this. So as you can see, the shape is like a, a J, right? That's why they call it the J curve. But this concept is very important and interesting because a people, governments around the world are still failing and they are still doing uh, policies that they mind this will happen and it doesn't happen. It looks like this and in the worst case, it goes like this. So we need to be conscious about this, that the J curve, it's because the change in the policies takes some time to improve. And if if your economy can't handle this, this, um, this drop, then 
it is possible that the whole economy will go into a crisis. So it's very important. I don't know if governments don't know about this concept, it's possible. Or maybe they fail to calculate if the economy will be able to tolerate the drop. So this is the this this is the end of this video about the J Corp. I think it's very interesting, but uh, also remember that because it's kind of um, a, a danger, a kind of um, a risk of of policy making.